Hi, I'm Georgia and this is Will. Uh, I play for Wigan Warriors ladies team. I play winger and today I'm going to talk you through a tackling masterclass. I'm going to get tackled. Okie dokie, so when you get into tackling, no matter how big or small the person is, you need to get your body in front and stay square. Okay, so you're going to shorten your steps the closer you get and then you're going to have a lead foot, okay? So, when you're running towards a person that's running at you, keep your body square, keeping on your toes and as you're coming in, you get your lead foot in tight and then you get your shoulder in and dip. Okay, so once you get your feet in tight, so coming in, lead foot, you're gonna dip down. So your right shoulder is gonna be right underneath the ledge on the bag. And you're just gonna push up, your power comes through your legs. So you're just gonna push up and drive through your legs backwards. So we use the term sit and hit. So you're gonna sit down, get nice and low. Make sure your head's on the opposite side to what shoulder you're hitting with, okay? So once you've hit, you grab hold and you drive through with your legs. Make sure that your head is on the opposite side of your shoulder and you want to get cheek to cheek, so cheek to bum cheek. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so in rugby league, you generally tackle a little bit higher than rugby union. So you've got the ball, the, carry, the ball carrier will come into you. You want to get your shoulder in and you want to grab hold of the tricep. Keep your head in tight. Then the other side, you're going to have your arm underneath their armpit. Squeeze in so you've got a lever and you can easily turn them over. There's going to be three people in a tackle usually in rugby league. So the top person's got control. The second person comes in, usually helps them put them to the floor. And then the third person would come in and chop the legs and take them down. So it needs to be on the floor for as long as possible, as long as the ref says, um, so that it gives the team more time to get back to defend. There are also situations in rugby league, for my instance, being on the wing where it's one-on-one. -on -one. So the player might try and step you as you're squaring up to them. Okay, so what you have to do there in that situation is if they've stepped past you, you just have to reach around the legs and just grab hold of their ankles nice and tight, squeezing the legs together so they can't move. Demonstration, Will's gonna run at me. You just grab hold of the legs. So what happens quite often in rugby league is people would go in with the shoulder and not wrap their arms round. That would be a shoulder charge. Okay, so if Will was to run at me and he was running with the ball, if I just smash my shoulder into him, that would be a shoulder charge. Then there's another um, penalty or a foul. Okay, so if Will was to run in and I went to go and tackle him, but it was round his neck and above his shoulders, that would also be a high tackle. So it'd be a penalty and a turnover to the other team. Thank you for watching our Tackling Masterclass. Make sure you like and subscribe to the My Protein YouTube channel and comment below if you want to see any more videos like this.